What's going on everyone, DJ Fitness News Reviews and together with me, finally on the channel, Gorilla Mode, Nitric, yeah people, Nitric, this is their steam-free pump formula, listen people, this is probably one of the most hyped pump formula on the freaking planet, I'm gonna take you through the label of this thing, it's not gonna take us a lot of time, not a super complex label. But then I'm actually going to share with you my personal experience using this one over the last month, really. And then, towards the end of the video, as usual on this channel, right here from the world's only FDA-proof bunker, I'm going to give you my final verdict should you still actually give a shit by then. And all I'm going to ask in return is that you hit that like button. Okay, guys, so Gorilla Mode. Yeah, Gorilla Mode. Is that the name of the brand, Gorilla Mode? Anyway, it's uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates. By the way, crazy ass name. The dude, by the way, the dude is smart. Super, super smart, super successful, obviously. He's killing it with his Gorilla Mode pre workout. Probably with this one also. Selling on Amazon like it, there's no tomorrow. Anyway, but he's also super smart. He does like amazing videos, knows what he's talking about. Listen, I really like the guy. I did review his Gorilla Mode pre-workout probably a year ago. And even though this thing is probably the Amazon bestseller for pre-workout, so this dude sells millions, I didn't like it. Like, I missed the sense of urgency. It was a good pre-workout. Obviously, the, I mean, by the way, the dude put a lot of shit in it. That's a loaded label. But I didn't, I wasn't impressed because I didn't get that sense of urgency I look for in a pre-workout. Solid, solid label, solid pre-workout also. And, and the guy knows what he's doing, but wasn't my type. Anyway, I'm going to link to that review below. This is his second product. He has a bunch of other stuff. This one is Gorilla Mode Nitric Stimulant Free Pre-Workout Formula. Now, as you know, when we look at Stim Free Pre-Workouts, there's three, I'm going to link below, by the way, to my best Stim Free Pre-Workouts for 2022. But I'm looking at three different categories. One of them is the full steam free pre-workout where you get like literally a pre-workout without the steams. So you get the power formula, you get the pump formula, you get beta alanine tingling, you get the buzziness, you get focus ingredients. That's the steam free, uh, full steam free pre-workout. That's a real steam free pre-workout. And then there's pure pump formulas, right? And then there's pills, right? Where you get uh, pump formula, but in a form of pills. These are the, really the three categories. There's all sorts of pre-workouts or simply pre-workouts in the middle, I think it's stupid. Literally, you, you want one of these three for your use case. Either you take the pills just to add to your steam pre-workout, either you take a steam-free pre-workout because you really want to cycle off steams, or you take a pump formula to add to your steam pre-workout. That's it. All the rest are stupid. Anyway, this one falls, this is this is this one falls into a pump formula. This one definitely is a pump formula rather than a steam-free pre-workout, which is fine. I mean, the use case for a pump formula is if you can afford it, why not? Just add some pumps, feel a bit good about yourself. Basically, it's a vanity supplement <laughs> to a large extent. It's, you want to feel the pump to a large extent. That's it. Now, in vanity, and if you feel better with the pump, you probably want to work out better. Anyway, people, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get into this thing. So one scoop is 17.2 grams. That is a big-ass scoop. And you have serving size per container 40. So there's a one scoop, two scoops type thing. So two scoops is 35 grams. 35 grams. Now, I, you, know, you know here, I go two scoops. This is not a steam formula, so theoretically why go two scoops? But you could also go one and a half scoops based on the quantities here. But the, the view I take on these things is if the uh, formulator said you take between one scoop and two scoops, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this shit. Like what, I want half the pumps or I want double the pumps? What, what, what is also, well, how do you measure tolerance? So right out of the gate, I would say bullshit, two scoops, right? Now let's look at two scoops here. So two scoops, like I said, a lot of ingredients. L-citrulline at 10 grams. That is a lot of L-citrulline. Now the clinical dose or whatever, what you see in research or the effectiveness of L-citrulline starts at three grams. So there is a question of, do I, if I put 10 grams of L-citrulline, will I feel more pumps? The answer is probably no, by the way. But 10 grams, there's definitely a sticker shock effect. 
Then you have creatine at 5 grams, so obviously this is supposed to help you with power output and creatine. This is creatine. It's just creatine monohydrate at 5 grams, that's what you're supposed to take on a daily basis in order to get the benefits of creatine. It has something to do with pumps, but not necessarily directly. You're not going to feel it immediately. Beta anhydrous at 4 grams, so that's power output, muscle protein synthesis, some help with pumps, definitely some research that can help with pumps. This is beta anhydrous. Glycer pump at 4 grams, definitely a lot of glycer pumps. And glycer pumps is one of these uh, swole pump effects. I really like glycer pumps. If you drink a lot of water, you feel it. Then you have malic acid at 3 grams. So basically, it's separated between malic acid and the citrulline. Usually, a lot of the times, you will see citrulline malic, right? Which is actually the combination. I think that I said on the video that there's some scientific reason for why I did it. All the power to him, by the way. Because in my book, labels are just fucking labels. It doesn't matter. You can say whatever you want. I can read this, I can be super impressed, 10 grams, oh my god, I try it, I use it, I tell you how it feels. Because this is what matters, how it feels, the rest is bullshit, labels are just labels. Agmatine at 1.5 grams, so that's a great combination with citrulline and the glycer pump. Nitrosigine at 1.5 grams, another one. Sodium nitrate, really interesting, at 1.5 grams. Everything nitrate, I really like, right? So nitrate is definitely, I react very well to nitrate. Sodium nitrate, I didn't see a lot of sodium nitrate. And then it has vas Vasodrive AP, at, uh, that's a trademarked ingredient. Anyway, this is definitely a loaded label. Now, 10, 3, 2.5, 4 grams. I, I know he has like a, this Derek dude, which I, like I said, really like, has like this full probably two hours video explaining this shit and why this is exactly why he chose it. Labels are just labels anyway. But from a label's perspective, our combination of nitrates, glycer pumps, citrulline, agmatine, betaine, vasodrive AP, so what, I mean, a bunch, what else did I miss? <laughs> glycer pump. There's definitely the who's and who of uh, pump ingredients in this thing. Now, do you need all of them? Would you feel different if you removed some of them? God knows, right? Labels are just labels. So, the way that we do things here on the channel is we try this shit. And we try it a lot of times, not just one time. So, to make sure that, you know, this is real. It's consistent. Let's get into the experience, people. So we'll start with the flavor. The flavor I have is fruit punch. Fruit punch, people. It's an okay flavor. On a scale of 1 to 10, fuck your scale of 1 to 10 for flavor for pre-workouts. Are you out of your mind, little girls? Who cares? You take it for one second and you move on with your freaking life. You want it to last. You want to be pumped for hours. And you care about the two seconds that the flavor lasts and you want to scale. As long as it's not disgusting, who the fuck cares? So, as far as the experience, first thing I'll tell you, two scoops of this shit is just a lot of powder. So, if you're drinking this uh, prior to your workout, which you should, right? Like half an hour, something like that before your workout. Drink some water so you can get this thing to work actually during the workout. Then, you... you, you then it's a lot of power. It's just a lot of power to add to a steam pre-workout also. Like I mentioned, this is just a pump formula. Let me talk about the experience. Listen, as far as the actual experience. So listen, people, this shit works. This shit works. <laughs> You're going to feel the swollenness. Th these are some nasty pumps with this thing. Now, is this better than the other pump uh, formulas I reviewed here on the channel? Like FSU by uh, Inspired. Uh, blood sport by Apollo Nutrition, Nova Pump. No, it's not. It's but it, I would say I would say or Ghost Pump even, right? I would say it's on par with these, right? Now there's a bunch of other ingredients here like betaine and and uh, creatine and stuff like that, which is very hard to measure the impact of them in the context of a pump formula, which is why I'm, I was taking this thing. So, but I would say this is definitely up there on par with the best as far as if you want to get swole pump feeling that pump muscle you know mind muscle connection i really like the pump like i said it's vanity that pump is going to go away when you finish the workout or after a couple of hours right but from a vanity perspective there's vanity okay you just want to feel good right and then there's also like my muscle connection you just you know when you're pumped you just want to work harder so listen gorilla mode nitric delivers right it delivers on the swollenness impact this shit does what it's supposed to do. Now, would it do the same thing with half of the ingredients here? Like without the creatine, probably yes. Without the betaine, probably yes. With only 4 grams of L-citrine, probably yes. So, probably you could get the same impact without all this stuff, but it doesn't matter, right? The dude put all this shit in this big-ass tub. This is definitely the biggest uh, pump formula tub I've ever seen, right? Like if you look at Bloodsport by Apollo Nutrition, it's like half of it. 
Um, but like I said, up there. I want to say up there, this thing delivers on swollenness and pump. Now, should you get this? I would say if you're a Derek fan and you want a pump formula, yeah, why not? I'm going to link below to the page on Amazon where you can find it. That's the best way to get the Gorilla Mode stuff. Is this better or let's say, say it fulfilled my, what I expected from this better than the Gorilla Mode pre-workout? Definitely. This one does what it's supposed to do. Now, this is probably going to be a bit more expensive and you're definitely going to drink more powder uh, compared to the other alternatives that I mentioned. But listen, this delivers on what it's supposed to do. Loaded formula, definitely loaded formula. This is an expensive formula. 10 grams of citron, I can tell you that's an expensive ingredient if you actually put it there, which I assume we did. But listen, guys, this thing delivers. If you're a Derek fan, you want to try this, I'm going to link below to the page on Amazon. If you want to try the other ones that I mentioned, which are basically half the powder <laughs> and the same effect, I'm going to link below to the reviews that I mentioned. Bloodsport, Nova Pump, and FSU. And basically, generally speaking, like I mentioned, also my best steam-free pre-workouts. This is not a steam-free pre-workout. This is a pump formula. <gasps> listen, people. Listen. Listen, so this one gets a thumbs up, right? I generally speaking like it. It does what it's supposed to do. If this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this. Because this is what we do here. We give you our honest, unbiased fucking opinion.